Hello, everyone. Uh, we are here on day four of our week of exploring the mistakes that dancers make when it comes to dancing with confidence. And today is mistake number four. Mistake number four, which is forgetting about your posture and body language when you dance. Okay, mistake number four is forgetting about your posture and correct alignment as well as body language and what we look like when we dance. So we've talked here before about the importance of our body language and how we look to other people, to other people watching us dance. And Heidi, thanks for being here. Um, when we looked at mistake number one, um, back back on Monday, um, which was relying on other dancers for steps, we also mentioned that it causes us to look down, right? Um, when we look at other dancers' feet. There are other reasons why dancers look down at the ground when they dance, but a lot of dancers do that. So if you think, for example, of watching someone look down when they talk, Right? If you talk to someone and they constantly look down at the ground, you'd immediately think that they don't really have much confidence in what they're saying or, or in themselves, right? So the same goes for dancing because we speak, right? We speak with our body. I mean, we always do. We always speak with our body, but especially, especially when we dance. So when you look at a dancer who is gazing down, as they dance, they, they seem to lack in confidence, right? That's just the reality. That's what, that's how we perceive it. And again, as, as we mentioned before, it doesn't actually matter how they feel, right? This is what, this is what they look like. That's how they appear. So body language is very important, especially when we dance, because this is our language. Right? But the attention of a lot of dancers goes to so much else. The choreography, the position in the circle, maybe what other dancers think of them, like what we talked about yesterday, and so on. So because we focus on so much else that's going on while we dance, we kind of neglect noticing what we're doing with our body. Okay, and that happens to a lot of people. So I hear from dancers, I just want to get the steps right. That's, that's what I focus on. And especially if you're a beginner or intermediate dancer, learning steps or knowing how to follow a dance, right? When you're in the circle and you're following a dance you don't know, might be a little bit tricky or challenging for you. And that's okay. But we often forget that dancing, even Israeli dancing, is not just about the steps and it's not just about the feet. Now, the correct steps are important, but they're only part of the picture. The picture also includes the rest of our body, our mind, and our soul. The rest of the picture includes how we move our entire body, not just our feet. It includes our thoughts at that moment when we dance. It includes our emotions. Right? We dance as a whole being. We also talked here in this group about how our posture can affect the way we look to other people. Right? So it's not just the gaze, it's also a lot of the times we see that our back, our back is curled forward, for example, it has the same effect. It looks to others like you lack in confidence, also that you're closed off because you are physically closed off. Right? So I think I also shared with you that I believe that dancing is always a combination of forces, right? And kind of an outside in, so outside would be our physical body, the way it moves in space, and how this movement affects our inner being. So that's out, in, 
how it affects our mind and our spirit. And the other force is an insight out, right? Inside our feelings, our emotions, our belief system, and connecting from within to our movement, to the external part, to the outside, to the music, to other dancers around us. So to become a more confident dancer, we really need to examine both of these forces, the outside in and the inside out. So what I mean by that is that when we neglect our posture, it doesn't only affect our dancing ability, okay? It doesn't just affect how easy and smooth we're able to move. It doesn't only affect the gracefulness in our dancing. It doesn't only put strain on our muscles and ligaments and may cause injury. These are all things that happen with, uh, without correct alignment. But when we neglect our posture, it doesn't only affect our body language and the way we seem to other people is lacking in confidence. We also send signals to our inner world that we are, in fact, not confident. Okay? Our body gives our brain and our belief system that reinforcement that what we believe about ourselves is true. We are not confident. There it is. My body is telling you. I'm, my posture is closed and I look down. This is a reinforcement for my inside world. And, you know, there's a reason why correct posture makes us think when we look at somebody, it makes us think that this person in front of us is really confident, right? This is an outward manifestation of our inner feelings. This, this is the one side, the inside out. The same is true for the outside in, outside coming from our posture. Our correct posture can improve our mood and it sends signals to our brain that we are confident. If you think, you know, when we stand upright and tall, right, and our body's open, we really feel like we're on top of the world. We are on top of things. We can do whatever. And if you think of the Superman or Wonder Woman pose, right, like that, they seem like they can, in fact, save the world, right? And it comes from somewhere. So what do we do? How do we remember our posture when we dance if we need to focus on so many other things? So first of all, if it is the choreography that is taking all of our attention, Let's go back to mistake number one and go back and rewatch it if you need to. Um, that is the relying on other people for the steps, <clears throat> right? And we talked that the solution was to actually learn the choreography and work on things at home at your own pace and really know things well and also work on your confidence with, from within. Because I've also heard from dancers who say, well, I know this dance really well, but I still look at other people's feet. So if you know the dance really well, then there's something here inside in your confidence level that is not allowing you to look up, to rely on yourself, even though you know the dance, right? So there's two things here to work on. That's That was with mistake number one. Um, but the best way to remember your posture is not remembering it at all. You're probably saying, what? But yes. The best thing is when correct alignment is your regular posture, that it's part of your muscle memory. And it's not something you have to dedicate mental effort to. How do we do that? We practice a lot, just like everything else. So here are a few steps that we can take. As always, we start with Yes, with awareness. We first notice that, you know, we first notice what our posture looks like, what it feels like. And we learn what it is that we need to change, what we need to work on. So a mirror is a good way to start. You can have someone take a photo of you and really examine the way you stand and also what it feels like, what your body feels like in this posture. Then we learn what correct alignment should look like and should feel like. 
and we practice standing in that correct alignment, even if it's just for a minute or a few seconds, whenever we stand until our body gets used to it. It might feel a little awkward at first. You might feel like you're about to fall because your perceived, your perceived center might change, but it's all part of it because we're retraining our muscles and our balance system. Uh, the third thing to do um, is to use a gradual exercise program to help strengthen the muscles that need to hold us in correct posture. So if we've had incorrect alignment for so long, some of our muscles get weak by that uh, or shortened. So we have to work on, on the muscles that need to support us. And we need to change bad postural habits, such as the way we hold our phones, right? A lot of people, when they hold their phones, they're completely hunched over. Um, or sitting in front of the computer, really notice these little things throughout your day and how your posture is, and then make standing in correct posture a new habit. Okay, so that takes time and, and effort initially. And the more time and effort we put in, the less we will need to later. Okay, we're really training our body, but then once correct posture is part of our muscle memory, we won't need any mental effort, okay? It would be just part of the natural way we stand and the natural way we move. And this is true for dancing, and it's also true for everything else we do in our lives. Move, stand, sit, lie down, anything else. And your correct posture will give you a huge confidence boost. Okay, so mistake number four, neglecting your posture and your body language when you dance can be solved with some attention and practice. And if you feel like you need any kind of support with this, please, please send me a message and let's chat about it because this is a really, really important topic and it might sound like a huge thing um, that's very hard to tackle, um, but I do, I do invite you to reach out and let's work on that and see what you can do uh, to help with your own posture and your own awareness. 